scientists reawakened cells from a 28,000-year-old mammoth. You could a woolly mammoth died long time ago, but scientists gave her cells a short second life in mouse egg cells. Cells from a woolly mammoth that died more than 28,000 years ago have been partially reactivated inside of mouse egg cells. According to a study published Monday in Scientific Reports, the achievement shows that biological activity can be induced in the cells of long-dead creatures. But that does not mean that scientists will be resurrecting extinct animals like mammoths anytime soon. A team led by Kozuo Yamagata, a biologist at Kendai University in Japan, extracted cells from the remains of Yuka, a young female mammoth discovered in 2010 on the coast of the Dmitry Laptev Strait in the Russian Far East. Yuka was estombed in permafrost, a frozen ground layer that can often keep the skin, fur, brains, and other softer tissues of the dead animals intact. Because yucca is partially great con in great condition, Yamagata's team was able to extract 88 nucleus-like structures from her preserved muscle tissues. The mammoth cells were implanted into mouse oxides, which are ovarian cells involved in ironic development. The researchers also implanted elephant cells into mouse eggs to provide a controlled sample. Once the cell nucle nuclei were in incubated, they seemed to reawaken, but only slightly. The cells did not divide, but completed some steps that proceed self-division. For instance, the mammoth nuclei performed a process called spindle assembly, which ensures that chromosomes are correctly attached to spindle structures before a parent cell breaks into two daughter cells. About 10 years ago, another team tried the same technique using a 15,000-year-old mammoth mummy, but were unsuccessful in stimulating cellular activity from that specimen.